Bouncing back from the brink of extinction is good news. But the fur seals on South Georgia are now facing danger as a result of overcrowding, which could threaten the future of the species once again. Antarctica, a bleak, beautiful landscape. For over 60 years, fur seals have been studied here by the British Antarctic Survey, and the seal's remarkable story reflects our changing environment. On Bird Island Station in South Georgia, scientists are surrounded by seals. They are everywhere. But let's go back a bit. How did we get here to this enormous colony? If we could see this beach in the 1800s, we'd be lucky to see one seal. 1.2 million were killed for their pelts in South Georgia alone. Seal hunting was the first industry in the Antarctic. And from the late 1700s and throughout the 1800s, fur seals on the island of South Georgia were hunted intensively. After 30 years, fur seals were hard to find. The population plummeted from 1 million to fewer than 400 individuals. By the 1900s, fur seals were on the verge of extinction. Remarkably, they bounced back. A small breeding colony was discovered on nearby Bird Island in the 1930s. In the 1950s and 60s, up to 10,000 seal pups were being born a year, and by 1976, numbers were thought to have reached 100,000. In the 90s, more and more seals were being found further away from South Georgia and its surrounding islands. In 2015, the population was estimated at between 5 and 7.5 and million. 95% of the world's population of Antarctic fur seals now inhabit South Georgia, three times the pre-hunting number. An animal the size of a fur seal recovering its population numbers that quickly is unprecedented and shows what a remarkable animal this is. So what happened? Seal hunting largely stopped and an increase in whale hunting meant less competition for krill, the seal's main food source. Seals are very efficient predators. They produce an offspring a year and living in an area abundant with food meant their numbers rocketed. The researchers have discovered that female fur seals are being born with a lower birth weight. Only the larger female fur seals are surviving and returning to breed. They're also having their first pups later in life. All this indicates that the females are dealing with food stress. There's just too much competition. These successful females are more likely to have high levels of genetic variation, which makes them more resilient. The female will seek out a genetically different male to produce stronger offspring. When the seals were close to extinction, they faced a genetic bottleneck. But this act of choice of a genetically different partner may have helped the fur seal population to explode with such vigour. However, the fact that currently it's only these super females that are managing to breed demonstrates the stress the population is under. Overcrowding has led to intense competition and stress amongst the seals. Bull seals that weigh on average 126 kilograms and are around two meters in length are territorial and aggressive. Fighting males can often trample fragile pups and severely injure them. Such aggressive behavior from breeding males can disrupt mother-pup bonding and lead to pup abandonment. Hungry pups are known to try and feed from any female, a risky move as females have been seen to attack pups that aren't their own. Starvation and skull injury are more likely to kill seal pups than anything else. Pups are getting smaller as food competition means mothers have less milk. We all know stress isn't good, but how is this affecting these young pups? Stress can lead to the production of corticosteroids, increased heart rate and the production of adrenaline in animals. Stress can deplete the energy of a young pup who needs all its reserves to grow and develop. Lack of rest in a calm environment damages their ability to regulate their body temperature and build up the strength they'll need to survive. Stress can even reduce the periods of feeding and damage the mother-pup bond. Their time on land is when they build up reserves, so overcrowding and a stressful environment could lead to malnutrition, starvation or death. 
Overcrowding is not the only challenge facing South Georgia's fur seals. Climate change is also having an impact. Krill forms the majority of Antarctic fur seal diets. The availability of krill is vital in determining the survival of the fur seal population. The Antarctic Circumpolar Current, or ACC, channels nutrient-rich waters towards South Georgia. How much krill reaches the island depends on the ACC. Krill numbers could be reduced by ocean acidification and scientists are already noticing changes in weather that mean fewer krill in the ACC being swept up to South Georgia. The peninsular region is one of the most rapidly warming areas of the planet and less sea ice will have an effect on krill. The fur seals in South Georgia are acting as a warning for global challenges. Large animals that feed in a marine environment give us a very clear picture of what is happening to our sea life. After surviving near extinction due to hunting, only time will tell if the fur seals of South Georgia can survive another man-made threat.